Hello everyone. I'm here today with my one-of-a-kind clay sculptures, Neil and Jana. They are my first two sculptures and I'm working on some more, but I'm coming on today with a few topics and, um, well, kind of related. I've had people ask me, am I going to produce my sculptures into vinyl or silicone so that you can buy them and paint them and enjoy them? Yada, yada, yada. At this time, I don't have an answer for you because I don't know all the ins and outs to the industry. And with the counterfeit market, um, plain... Uh, with the with the dirty old counterfeits just flooding the community it scares me as a new sculptor to put my art out there and it possibly ending up in the wrong cans and being mass produced with the wrong materials and by the wrong people i don't want to do that the counterfeit market and counterfeit collectors are flooding our doll community. And those of us that appreciate this art and that appreciate our hardworking sculptors bringing these babies to our collections, we need to stand strong against these, um, against these counterfeits and say, you know what, they're, they're not right. We don't need to support this. Um, you know, even if you collected counterfeits in the past or, you know, um, have had them before and you look at and you say, you know what, after everything I've read and after the research I've done and after, um, what I've seen from our sculptors, I don't think I want to support this and I want to quit collecting all by all means, you know, but to the people that are just gun ho about supporting counterfeits and putting your money into the pockets of the people that stole a sculpt from a sculptor. I just, I don't understand why people aren't understanding. And I think it's to a point where people don't want to. People do not care. They're getting a great bargain. That's what they want. They don't care where they get it from. They don't care who they support. And they don't care who they hurt. I don't understand after the facts and everything's been laid out, all this information, why there are still so many people um, defending this. People are upset they can't go to a doll show where our industry's finest sculptors are, attend and they're upset that they can't attend it and parade around a stolen skull. <laughs> that just... <laughs> and now we've got all this flooding YouTube, um, this argument. Um, because individuals are upset that they cannot parade around a stolen sculpture in front of the very people that sculpted it. How dare you even think that's acceptable? You know, how do you even think that that is acceptable? You say you love the doll community and the doll hobby. Love your sculptors. The people that bring the dolls to the table. The counterfeits would not even exist if they weren't stolen from the very people working hard to bring the dolls to you. You know how much work this took me? You know how many tears and sweat I put into this? And this is amateur. Okay, this is my first two dolls. The people that's been in the industry and producing dolls for us for years, they deserve our support. They don't deserve you waving a dirty counterfeit in front of them. How hurtful. How for, hurtful for you to say, but I love it. Well, then if you love it, if you love the stolen piece of art, why can't you support the authentic piece of art? 
people say, well, what about the people that uh, can't afford them? Um, what about the people that uh, can't afford the legit, legitimate dolls? Um, actually, that's nonsense because these counterfeits are the same as an authentic Paradise Galleries, as an authentic Ashton Drake. A lot of these counterfeits are the exact same price as them. And I know that Ashton Drake allows like payment plans and stuff. Kimberly Dolls is a silicone doll artist and she allows up to a year payment plans. Okay. The a Ashton Drake and Paradise Galleries, those are legitimate sculptors producing their art through those companies. So, though, yes, a Paradise Galleries, Ashton Drake, those are authentic dolls. And they should be welcomed into the doll community. Timu, AliExpress, Amazon, they do not produce authentic reborns. Okay. I know that Amazon has some Paradise Galleries for sale and Ashton Drake's for sale. And like I just stated, that those two companies are authentic. But if they're advertising a reborn doll or a silicone doll, they are not authentic. Unless they are coming from an authentic source. If you are unsure, ask. There's plenty of Facebook groups. There's, uh, you know, reborns. Uh, cuddle, reborn cuddle babies and more no knockoffs that Facebook group people will be happy to help you and navigate you reborns.com they sell authentic dolls sculptors make a profile um, not just sculptors artists and sculptors um, they make profiles on reborns.com and they sell their authentic art pieces through there you know um, let's <laughs> Let's try to stop this uh, monster of counterfeits because it's a, it's not going to do anything good for us. It's going to come in and it's going to destroy and it's going to make artists quit sculpting. Sculptors are going to quit sculpting. And then all that's going to be left is the same old dirty counterfeit sculpts. Nothing else, just anything that they already have. And that's not a good option either. Let alone, there's no regulations on what they are putting into their vinyl and their silicone. There is no laws over there that regulate that. We don't know. We don't know what is being put into there versus the ones that are being produced authentically. We know the materials and everything that is going into them. Okay? You don't know with counterfeit okay you just don't know the source and i know some of you just don't care you just want a cheap doll it's affordable it's cute it's it's i can't afford a reborn that's what i want to do i'm just saying you can't expect to then take that and go parading it in front of the people's faces the art that has been stolen you cannot show up to an art show and parade that around. I just, it's the audacity that people think they can. I just, I don't understand. And then throw a big old hissy fit because we can't. And to throw in, um, to try to compare that with racism just blows my mind. I honestly, it's just counterfeit supporters will just go at no, they just know no bounds. There's no boundaries to the way they will try to make this acceptable. It's not acceptable. It is theft. Okay? Those sculptures are stolen, being produced illegally. Sculptors are fighting. Sculptors are in sculptors are fighting for the rights of their art. They are in legal paperwork. They are trying to do what they need to do and it's just it's it's just going crazy so now when you ask me about my clay sculptures i do not know what to do 
I don't know what turn to take that is going to be good or going to be wrong for me and my art. So at the time, my art will stay one of a kind. And as far as I know, in my collection, I hope to maybe later down the road be accepted by Paradise Galleries or something like that, or maybe have a small edition in silicone or something like that. But I don't know what to do with the production of my art until the counterfeit thing is more controlled. Because right now it's just out of control and the justification for collecting it is out of control. And I'm sorry if I've come off mean or nasty or hateful. That's not what I'm trying to do at all. I'm trying to say that, hey, this is wrong. This is why it's wrong. This is why, you know, kind of thing. There's lots of information out there about knockoffs and counterfeits, why they're wrong. And then there's some information out there where people are justifying why they're okay and make your own thing. But don't expect to go to a, a, a doll show where the top of our industry is right there showcasing their art and you're going to take a stolen piece of art and wave it around in their face. It's just not acceptable. Especially, and not even that, if you're not even planning on taking the stolen piece of art. If you are an active advocate for counterfeits and stolen art and a proud supporter of that, you know, they like to say, I'm a supporter of all dolls. Well, okay. But if you're an active supporter of counterfeits, don't expect to be welcomed into those spaces. Those artists, are, we, we have to protect ourselves and our hearts and our art. You know? Anyway, that's my thoughts on all this. And, um, yeah, I'm just I'm really struggling on making YouTube videos and coming on and just really struggling with it, with this situation that's going on. And I just need to put it, I need to just do my videos uh, with the dolls that I have and showcasing what I love and my art and everything and not get so into all the negative parts of this and just focus on the ones that support. So if you support authentic dolls, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. If you are a supporter well, if you own counterfeits and you didn't know all this information and you're not knowing all of this, it's okay. Let's educate each other. Let's watch some videos, get some get some information, and make your decision. Okay? All right. I will talk to you all later. God bless you all. Remember, us sculptors, us artists, we're in this together. Let's support authentic. Let's push the authentic support. We can do this. Okay? We can educate people. And, uh, yeah. All right. That's all from me. I'll talk to you all later. My bear, unfortunately, <laughs> died halfway through. I got to charge him tomorrow. And, uh. Yeah, don't these guys look so sweet in their little mint green? Although they're probably freezing because it's in the negative temperatures here. Our water pipes are frozen. <laughs> but anyway, I just um, thank you for all the love you've shown on my first sculptures. I'm having so much fun with it. Um, I can't wait to show you the next two. I've got two in the works. So, all right. I'm rambling now. Talk to you all later. God bless you. Bye-bye now.